Derek, uh, I pulled you away from your makeover so we yeah. could talk about these true or false questions, and they're they're kind of fun. They're fun. So the first one, you should throw out your mascara when it starts to get clumpy. Is that true or false? I mean, I think that one is true. Yeah. It is true, but I will say this. Some mascara formulas, when you buy them, are clumpy. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> like, there's some that are purposely kind of have that look, which I'm not yes. a fan of. Yeah. In general, follow more three months. At three months, throw out your mascara for sure because bacteria starts to form on it. Okay. Um, but know your formulas if it is clumpy. So, you know, yeah, if it starts to get thick and looks gross, mm -hmm. get rid of it. And that's the number one thing you want to get rid of and, every and, three months. And if it starts to smell. Yeah. Throw it out yesterday. Yes. Right? Don't yeah. put that on your eye. No. Okay. And I like to hang on stuff for a long time, yeah. but even I do. would even I would get the, the hint. Yeah. Don't do it with mascara. No. Okay, so makeup doesn't get dirty, only brushes do. Is that true or false? That is false. Your, your makeup, makeup does dirty. get dirty too. And if you think about it, if your brushes are dirty and there's bacteria on them and you're putting it in the makeup in eyeshadows or in blushes or compacts, yeah. it does. But there, this is a cool thing. You can either spray right on your powder yes. or your blushes, your creams, whatever it is, or you can actually use a wipe. There are these wipes. This is um, by Beauty So Clean. Yeah. And it's an, a disinfectant. It's an antibacterial wipe that you literally can put over a powder mm -hmm. and it will disinfect it. It'll clean it. It cleans it. Oh, that's good. Yeah. That's so very it is, easy. So especially if you're very sensitive or you have problems with breakout, yeah. that's a great trick and, and clean your brushes, obviously. I love that. Yeah. Okay, good. You can match your foundation to your wrist. Is that true or false? False. I'm gonna give that a big false. Okay, so here's look a, at my wrist compared to my face. That's exactly like look at how pasty white yeah. my wrist is. Most of no it, everyone comparison. looks at their wrist. There's no comparison. Yeah, and if you look at our faces, not even close. So right. you always match foundation where you're gonna wear it. So if you're yes. wearing it on your face, you wanna match it on your jawline, blend it down so it blends into your neck. Right. Yeah. And so if you're going to buy a, a foundation, you need to wear no makeup when you go. Yeah, or they, you know, they should remove a little bit of yes. it to, to match. I see people all the time doing this and it, it's you're being led astray. You're, yeah. you're going down a path that will not work. That's right. <laughs> it's not going to work. Okay, waterproof and water resistant mascara are the same. True or false? False. Right, what's the difference? They're not the same. Waterproof mascaras are more resistant. They are developed that you literally can be submerged in water mm -hmm. and stay on. A water resistant formula is more resistant than a regular mascara that will be resistant to humidity. Yes. But if you were to go swimming with it, the water will break it down. Got it. With a waterproof mascara, you do need a waterproof remover. remover. And right. those are the dual phase ones that you have to shake. Those will help to dissolve the, the makeup. Otherwise, yeah. it's on so for life. So there's a difference between them. Yeah, it's on for a really long life. time. Yeah. <laughs> Removing all your makeup before bed will help prevent breakouts. True or false? True. 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 And this is... It, you know, any dermatologist, any skincare expert is going to say to you, it's so important to wear sunscreen. It's so important to remove your makeup. Yeah. Get a wipe and yeah, have it by your least. bed if you're lazy. There's no reason not to take a wipe and remove That's your makeup. That's right. And yeah. the, the good ones are really going to remove it. You really should wash your face, or yeah. so I've been told. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But those are a good first step. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Okay, Derek, thank you for that.